small business and I have landed in Nashville. Uh, don't know if you can hear me or not or how loud I'm talking because my ear is still clogged up even though I'm chewing gum and drinking and swallowing and trying to get that pop. My ear was hurting me really bad. I've never, ever, ever had my ear hurt me as bad as it did. I've never the concourse, descending into Nashville. So we had an hour and a half layover here, and then we get another hour and a half flight on to the Kansas City airport. And so I'll check in with you guys over there. up too and then you start seeing all the brick and the like gated entries fundraising and uh, did the fundraising for the Oak Bowl and probably thought it would take another four or five years to get that funds to get in a, a field house. So this building was was uh, Cooper Nuclear. They're a 
nuclear power plant in Brownville, about 50 miles from here. They own the building and they kind of gifted it to us. And then we just right.
we made it through a tour of the campus, the football field, got him set up in his dorm room, we got an orientation in the morning, but anyways, before I fell asleep in Vincent's bed when he went to the gym, I think we've been up for, what, 36 hours straight? So I knocked out in his bed. Man, VDOT don't get tired. Please. VDOT was snoring when he took his little 30 minute power nap. And um, so now we're in the Walmart getting some stuff for his room. And then we're going back to the hotel to knock out. So check in with y'all probably tomorrow. You think you need that much coffee? You're not gonna drink it every day. Think about it. I'm not going to Walmart. This is like a once in a lifetime opportunity. <laughs> so go bigger, don't go home, or stay at home. Yeah. Good morning, y'all. It's day two here, Peru State, getting Vincent all settled in. Did his dorm last night. Today is orientations. Um, student and parent breakout sessions and then football orientation and dinner later on this evening. All right, so we just finished the parent breakout sessions and the student breakout sessions for orientation. So now we are having lunch here in their um, dining hall and then we have our campus tours available. Thank you. And what up, man, it's beat up. <laughs> All right, so we got barbecue, pulled pork sandwiches, some salad, green beans, macaroni and cheese. So we're gonna chow down and hopefully at some point we can get a nap before we have to do our football appearance orientation. We're gonna eat, not chow down. Chow down. Chow down. <laughs>
you'll see another one. Three, three, uh, four lines of the world for the high office. We have a pretty... Before we get started, Christy Meese is our academic advisor. She'll talk a little bit about the academic expectations. And, and Co Coach, can, can we get you guys some chairs? None of that room's open back there. And I'll look and see. Uh, they can take these, too. Then uh, a couple of our football players serve as RAs, residential assistants in, in the residential hall. We'll talk to you a little bit about the rest of life. All right, so now Vincent's at a player only meeting, and um, I'm here in the second story of the dorm room, which is their great hall. And so this is like another little hangout space for them. So they have their TV over there, couches, sitting area. And then behind me here, they have their fireplace, which is now a gas fireplace and more seating. And then like a table for them to study um, and things of that nature. So this is an all male dorm. The bathrooms are um, centralized in the hallway and I'm trying to find <laughs> A female bathroom which I have not found one in here because I need to use the restroom so that would be the only flaw so far um, that I've seen in this dorm but really like it here it's all been completely redone since um, last year they finished the renovations so it's uh it's really really nice and um, I really really like his room um, so that's about it I have a little bit of time with him tonight I will see him for a few minutes tomorrow and then it's back to the airport where I'll head home and get the rest of my kids ready for their first day of school at the end of the week. Good morning y'all. This is my last day in Nebraska. It is Tuesday and as you can see behind me I am back in the Walmart um, picking up some things for Vincent and his roommate. Um, the Walmart's like 25 minutes away from them at school. So doing this, we're making this run for them. They had team, hold on. Sorry about that. They had team meetings this morning, equipment checkout for the freshmen. Um, and so I really won't get a chance to see him till about one o'clock because they're, they have a schedule where they go and go and go and go and go with team stuff until about nine o'clock tonight. Um, so I'm doing this. And then, <coughs> excuse me, trying to get my dad to run me to an antique shop that is um, right around the corner here. Um, I'm having a time with my devices. My, I broke my camera, I dropped it, so now I gotta get that fixed. Um, and then I'm using my phone, and that is giving me a time too with my storage and backing up stuff and deleting stuff and uploading stuff to Dropbox and blah, blah, blah. So. That is what's going on this morning. I'm gonna try to film in the antique shop. Hopefully, I'll have enough uh, storage on here to include that in the vlog and um, some of Vincent's activities before we check out. So, I'll talk to y'all in a bit. All right, so this is from the entrance. And then he's got two cork <laughs> boards. Up there are his paper goods, coffee, and his toolbox. And this door is acting as his pantry. This is a, there are to, is a tall wall locker, so he has just some extra stored up there. Dirty clothes hamper here. All right, his dishes, Yo. shoes, yeah, shoes. Where, where? He has some laundry supplies and some other cleaning supplies behind those up there. No. Cleaning supplies. This right. coffee maker is going to get moved, but he just has it there for right now. His hair cutting supplies, uh, toiletries, toiletries. So the next three drawers have his clothes. The corners and stuff. And then his closet. Shower shoes, his computer bag, tools, some slides, has more clothes in these drawers. He's got his towels, 
Yeah, this ring. Football gear. PlayStation, luggage, foot locker. And then here's his lamp. He's got his TV. Um, some Florida style artwork because he will not be seeing palm trees or Ocean Drive out here. And then here is his shower caddy, his whiteboard facing the door, and I left that note for him. This is their bookshelf, but they don't have any books yet. And then there's his fridge and microwave. And then he's actually on the basement floor, so this is his egress window, and then this is the top bunk, and this is how high his ceilings are. So it feels really good.